in other species like worms and fish and yeast and mice, if you restrict the number of calories that those organisms eat, then they actually live much longer. It's the only consistent intervention we know of to get organisms to live longer. And so, of course, the next question is, well, will this work in humans? I'm a software engineer in the Bay Area and I've been practicing calorie restriction for about eight years. I'm eating about 1,600, 1,700 calories a day. Nine years ago, I think I was eating probably 2,400 calories a day. This specific group of people from the Calorie Restriction Society are very unique because they're not yo-yo dieting. They're doing consistent calorie restriction for many, many years, in some case decades. And so those are the people we're focusing on. Right, go ahead and step down. This kind of research is done in other places as well, but the emphasis is different. They're asking more about psychological effects here. They have lots of questions about who I am and what I think about and how I react to situations. I've never been asked these kinds of questions. This study could really only be done at UCSF because we have a collaborative team here that really spans the continuum from hardcore biology all the way up to human behavior. For many of us practicing it, it's not necessary that it be a longer life. It just be better quality life. Better quality in a sense that you can avoid the likelihood of cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's. And so, of course, we're collaborating with Elizabeth Blackburn, who last year won the Nobel Prize for her discovery of telomerase, and also Cynthia Kenyon, who's a pioneer in the calorie restriction and longevity work. And I'm a psychologist, and so I uh, am really interested in the characteristics of people who can do long-term behavior change, because it's so elusive to most of us.